Yo, what is going on gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back today with another glitch video. This time we got an amazing glitch on our hands. There's so much you can do with this guys. It is the story mode player. I guess I can call it the single player to multiplayer glitch. Now, the possibilities are just freaking almost endless with what you can do with this glitch and I've been staying up for the last six hours trying to hit this glitch. I mean, I hit it, you know, within the first few tries, but I've been experimenting with it, trying to get all the facts straight for you and uh, trying to get all the details so you guys can really know what to expect. Uh, I apologize for not posting the last couple days, but I think I will be able to make up for it with what I have for you today in terms of content. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's get started with this. I'm first going to shout out the founders, uh, Fart Crew, for coming up with the main glitch. All the helpers involved, Nick Gore, uh, Cynical Creator 2, JBTWT1, GTA Online Only. Uh, the PS4 steps for hitting this glitch are by CBD420. And a huge shout out to the legendary Xbox One steps coming, or the legendary guys filling us in with the Xbox One steps, uh, Spazzin and Scuba. Thank you to all of you guys who have contributed to this glitch. It's been out for a week and a half or so, and I haven't had a reason to post it, but now that a bunch of glitches got patched and we don't have much, you know, on the on the spectrum at the moment, I wanted to bring you guys this amazing glitch. Now, here are the possibilities of what you can do with this glitch. This is what makes it so amazing. You can bring story mode players online and play as them. As you can see right here, I'm playing as Trevor. I was in my CEO office, I'm driving my modded cars, everything. You can store those uh, story mode players' cars online. You can play as an animal online, choose or use cheats online, get story mode tattoos online. You can teleport while you're online. Uh, there's an RP glitch that I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, there's a solo money glitch as well, that's coming later today. And uh, you can make modded outfits, you can dupe friends cars, and you can get duffel bags. So like I said guys, this glitch truly is amazing, there's a lot you can do with it. So I really wanted to just fill you in on what you can do. Um, one word of warning, okay, so when it comes to any you know glitch like this, such as the director mode glitch, when you're really fucking with the game itself and you're really messing with the, uh, the save data and things like that, especially on Xbox, you could sometimes run into an error where your game save data won't be loaded or it'll say the Rockstar servers are unavailable right now uh, because you're doing this glitch. I do have a fix for that for Xbox and for PS4. So I will put that put that down in the description, okay? So look for, a, I'm gonna name it Save Data Fix, okay? So make sure you look for that just in case, because I know you, you guys are probably gonna run into some problems doing this glitch. That happened to me when I failed this glitch a few times. So uh, yeah, if you have any of those problems where it says it can't load your data, or the Rockstar servers are unavailable, you know, right after you do the glitch. It's because of just, you know, messing with it. But don't worry, your save data is all still there. I have a fix for both consoles that will be in the description, okay guys? So, without further ado, uh, this time for real, let's get started with this, alright? Okay, so here is the start of the glitch. Now, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go from your main character back to story mode. And now when you're in story mode, go ahead and click on creator. Now. When you're on creator, you're going to go and you're going to click on load creation and you're going to hover over publish. Now, I don't believe you need any sort of race or anything, uh, you know, made for this. I think you just have to, you know, do the action, which is to hit load creation, hover over publish, just like that. Now, this is the Xbox steps, okay? I'm going to my dashboard right now and I'm going offline. I'm going to network settings and I'm hitting go offline and then I'm spamming B to come back and then immediately spamming A. Okay, and what that just did is, look at that, now I'm stuck in like a little loading icon at the bottom right. That's what you want to see. So once again, once I was hovering over published, I went to my dashboard, network settings, I clicked on go offline, and then spammed B to exit out and go back to GTA, and then started spamming A right away to end up in this little orange icon loading screen, okay? That's what you want to see, okay guys? So you wait here for about 30 seconds or so until an, until an alert appears. Now you're going to accept the alert when it comes up. Okay, this is a very detailed tutorial, guys. So really pay attention and watch the entire video. The whole first half of this video is just doing the glitch and getting you guys prepared, okay? So here we go. The uh, alert should be coming up anytime now. There we go. I'm going to accept it. Now, at this point, this is for Xbox mainly right here. I'm going to go to hover over create a last team standing. This is key. You must do this and then go over to press start and go to online. 
Now, at this point, I'm gonna go over to my dashboard and I'm gonna hit reconnect to the internet. So go back online. Then this is, I'm gonna slow it down, but this is gonna be, you gotta do this, these steps really, really quickly, okay? So I hit go online, all right? Now I spam B to come back here, I'm waiting. I'm just pressing A, A, A on online right here until I can get my options. Now, once I get my options, you're gonna see, you can either go into an invite only or a solo session. Either one will work. So I'm hitting A. I'm still hitting A to try to get online. This is all in slow motion, guys. I just want you to really see everything. All right, so now I'm able to get back online. So play GTA online, and I'm going to invite only, and I'm spamming A. Spam, spam, spam A as quick as possible. Just keep spamming A until you start, until the camera view starts going down, like right about here, okay? That's when I stop spamming A. Now, you should see a few things, uh, one of a few things. When you spawn in, you could be dead, you could be glitched through the ground, or walking, or standing, all these will work. So, this is what I kept getting. I would spawn down, and here I am as Franklin in a glitch floor, just standing, like glitch world. So at this point, once I spawn in, I'm going to my dashboard right away, and I'm disconnecting the internet. Okay? So I'm disconnecting right now. Now, uh, I'm returning to GTA, I get to a black screen, now I'm going back, and I'm reconnecting my internet, I'm waiting about 5 seconds, uh, for everything to connect then I'm backing out of the network settings and then I'm going back into online and I'm hitting a to get out of that alert and That one as well. And now I'm stuck in this loading screen. Okay. I Know that that seems like the most confusing glitch ever This is a very hard glitch to even explain especially because I can't show you what I'm doing in my dashboard at the moment That is one of the hardest things. Okay now at this point when you get stuck here, at least I kept getting stuck in the clouds right here every single time. What you do is you don't see any sort of loading icon or anything like that. So what I had to do is I had to keep going back to my dashboard and hitting go offline, then immediately hitting go back online and then spamming B to come back to GTA to see myself in this loading screen or in this, you know, in the clouds again, frozen kind of. What's not totally frozen, it's moving, but I'm just kind of stuck here in the clouds. Uh, on PlayStation, I do know also if you get stuck at this point, you can do the same thing. Just keep going back to your dashboard and hitting go offline, go back online, and go to GTA. See what happens. If nothing happens for a few seconds, wait like 20 to 30 seconds. Then once again, go back to your dashboard, hit go offline, and then go back online, and you'll end up back here. Now what you want to see is a little save icon in the bottom right, and then all of a sudden it's going to say joining GTA. That's how you know that you've successfully gotten to you know the point where you're going to be able to fully hit the glitch. That was all the hard part. That Everything I showed you in slow motion, that was the hardest thing to do. It's really hard to explain without showing you guys my dashboard. Unfortunately, I'm recording on the DVR, so you guys can't see the dashboard. But uh, but yeah, so right here, that's what I ended up doing right there. I hit go offline, go back online, and went back. And you see that little save icon on the bottom right? It just popped up. Now I see join GTA online. That is how you know you're about to fully hit the glitch. So I'm going to end up now in story mode, or sorry, in multiplayer, so online with my story mode character as we spawn down. Okay, I'm gonna leave a, a, you know directions to both users for PS4 and for Xbox down in the description as well as the pinned comment. So you guys don't just have to only follow this tutorial, you can go back down there and you can read along as you're following the video uh, so that it'll help you out guys. But this is a very difficult glitch to hit and to explain as well. So now we're spawning back down and uh, and yeah, you're gonna see right here that just some really trippy shit goes on right here. So I'm spawning down at my last location where I was with my main character and check this shit out. Look at this shit, look what happened. So online, look at that, <laughs> boom. He just like wigs out right there and Franklin just pops right through my online character and look at that, they're both walking in tandem. And now so, uh, your online character is just gonna disappear and uh, look at that, I have Franklin in online. So that is the single player to multiplayer glitch doing my action everything guys. I am fully online right now in an invite only session as Franklin. You can do everything that an online player can do right now for the most part. I'm going to go into detail on what I experimented with after the you know at this point and what I was able to do. Okay, so stick around for this next part of the video. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the double menus. Now, when you go online, if you look, when you pull up your interaction menu, you're going to have the online character menu kind of glitched in with your regular interaction menu, okay? So, here's what you do. 
you have it open like this and this is what I do so I have it open and I'm gonna go ahead and close it and then open it right back up really quick scroll up five times and then hit X or hit pl uh, a on uh, Xbox and then there you go you have the interaction menu back to normal but you have to do this every time you open it back up so you can try opening and closing it real quick that sometimes gets rid of it the method I use is I open it up scroll up five times and then hit a or that be X on PlayStation okay and then you can choose everything normally as you would in normal online now this is how you choose characters online or choose between your story mode characters so as you see right here I'm Trevor I'm gonna hold down on the d-pad and I'm gonna move my right stick towards Michael now you're gonna get that message back out of that message do not accept it if you back out of that alert message or sorry if you accept that alert message it will ruin the glitch it might even crash your system so make sure that if you want to switch characters down on the d-pad select the character you want you're gonna get that alert back out of the alert and it will still switch to another character okay that's all you got to do and in this uh, video or this part of the video right here I'm actually gonna show you what can possibly happen too. Uh, a lot of times when I switched over to Michael I'd get stuck in like a black screen basically it kind of you know freeze right here as you can see I'm still online and then all of a sudden a black screen I thought that my system was crashing at this point but you can still hear what you're doing in the background if you're opening up your interaction menu or doing stuff so I would just open up my interaction menu kind of scroll up and down uh, hit B to back out maybe hit A on a few things don't go crazy with it because you could activate or deactivate something that you didn't mean to but be patient just make sure that you can still hear yourself in the background doing stuff and eventually you will come back and uh, and you'll be Michael as you see right here I came back to the cutscene and we're good to go so once again down on the d-pad move to whatever character you want back out of that alert message and you will switch to that character as simple as that do not accept that alert and uh, oh yeah if you're in Michael's house or Franklin's house you could kind of be trapped in there so I suggest if you keep getting trapped in the house just switch to another character until you're outside and use them for a while until you can switch to somebody else so right here I'm gonna go back to Trevor back out of that alert and just like that I'm going back to Trevor who is outside and then you can jump to Franklin Michael and this all depends on how far you are in the story guys and what part you are in the story depending on who you can switch to and who you can't now in this part of the video I'm gonna show you how you can teleport while you're online now what you can do is you can actually just call up a cab and once you're in the cab select the destination and go ahead and skip the uh, the video that's what you would do in story mode and in story mode it would kind of teleport you around but now we can actually do that online and for anybody that's wondering how to get with other online players you can invite other people into your session since I'm in an invite only session I could invite friends and whatnot but I tried to find a new session and it just kicked me back offline and you know I was back in story mode so I haven't quite figured out how to get into a public session yet with this I will be doing further testing as the day goes on this is pretty much my goal today is just to be you know screwing around with this glitch and finding out as much as I can alright so right here I'm gonna go ahead and select my destination that I want to go to uh, I selected the fairgrounds I think there but I didn't really want to show up there so I'm gonna go ahead and go back and yeah so I'm gonna where do I end up going yeah I end up just going to Benny's right here I pick Benny's just to kind of show you guys an example and I'm gonna skip a or I'm gonna press a or X on PlayStation which is gonna go ahead and skip to that destination so you're gonna get this black screen for a second or for a few seconds I should say and then now check it out the cab actually spawns wherever I decided to uh, to go so any second now there we go and uh, yeah so I'm actually right here if you look on the map Benny's Motor Works is right around the corner so I just run over here just to show you guys that indeed I am right here at Benny's okay now let's move on with the next part of this glitch all right in this part of the video here we go I'm gonna show you guys an RP glitch that you can actually do while you're in here now if you can manage to get five stars go ahead and get five I tried while I was in here I was only able to get four stars but this is a pretty simple RP glitch really simple actually so you go over here into the uh, prison uh, if you don't have access to the mil military base you can go over there too and wreak some havoc but uh, I went over here uh, over here and uh, went ahead to start you know destroying shit and just shooting rockets trying to get five stars they still only gave me four but this is the prison over in the desert and I just tried to go over here and try to get as much stars as you can so that you can get the most amount of RP I do believe it's four or 400 RP or 600 RP or something like that for four stars and then it adds another two or 400 RP for five stars 
So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and switch characters. And just like that, I got the RP added. Now, you probably didn't notice because I'm such a high level, and it's only 400 to like 800 RP, so it's not a crazy amount. But it is an RP glitch, so that's all I had to do was switch. But check this out. I wanted to keep this in the video because I, by mistake, duplicated my oppressor. Check this out. I spawned on this oppressor, and now look. If you look at the vehicle icon, I actually have another oppressor parked here on the street. So I'm definitely going to be testing this more. But uh, I mistakenly duplicated my oppressor. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to keep testing this maybe with some retro, see if I can do something with it. Uh, maybe sell, you know, one of them. But yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. So check that out. Duplicated oppressors, guys. But uh, yeah, that's the RP glitch. Let's move on to the next one. All right, and now for the last part of the glitch, because uh, this video is getting really long, so I wanted to save one of the best ones for last. This is how you go invisible. All you got to do is die, but be careful how you die. I've heard if you get killed by an explosion, you can actually crash your game. Or if you die next to another player in a public session, you can crash uh, your game. So be careful while dying. But check this out. All you got to do is die as a story mode character and voila, you're invisible. As simple as that. So that's how you go invisible. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take out any of my guns or anything like that. But you can actually go on to, uh, and I've seen people use their guns, so I think I'm going to further test this just to see, um, you know, what I can figure out. Like I said, there's so much to this glitch that, uh, you know, more and more testing needs to be done. But uh, as you can see right here, it's the first invisible glitch I've been able to do while, uh, while actually still being able to get on my oppressor and actually extend the wings and use the rockets. Usually when I go invisible or off the radar or something, they don't let you do that. So I thought that was really, really neat. As you can see right here, that looks freaking awesome. So that is one of the plus sides. And the other part that I wanted to show you, just a nice little, you know, touch after uh, you'll see once I'm going into my hangar is that you turn up looking like one of those clones, uh, one of those default players with the checkerboard shoes and everything. So I thought that was really neat. But you're going to see that at the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and start my spiel. Uh, make sure that you hit a like, you know, like the video if you really did enjoy it by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 1,000 subscribers. We are at 800. Let's keep it going. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed the hell out of this video. It took me a while to make and get the content for, but I do it all for you guys. All right, so I'm getting out of here, guys, and I'm working on some more content for you today. Peace out, everyone.